William, you've had a delivery. Yeah! Yeah! Hi. So, Goddaddy Sav has sent you this. Yeah, hi guys, welcome to the Toby Talk. Excuse our appearance, uh, it's early in the morning. Um, but William just had a delivery uh, from his godfather, his name's Adam. And he sent you this, shall we have a look? Right, just be careful, just be careful. This one here, it says, urgent, open immediately. What's this? So, just be careful with it, just be careful. Because I think there might be something alive in there. No, yeah, it's so, not alive. Well, we'll see, because it says a giant butterfly garden. Let me have it, please. So, watch them grow, let them go. This is cool, celebrating insect law, 50 years of life. Come on. So there's a 45 centimetre tall Why habitat. Then why will it grow into a real one? No. Oh, so it says caterpillar voucher not included, contains live okay. caterpillars. I think there's caterpillars in there. No. Yeah. Let's see what you've got. Is here? Yeah, in here. Well, I don't think there is. Because I don't. Because I'll knock in it and I don't think there is going to be. Oh my goodness. See? I... There is a caterpillar in there. Wow. Look at that. Okay, guys. So we have got a live caterpillars. Look. Look at them moving around. Yeah. Can you see? We've got live caterpillars in here, guys. Can I look at them? Yeah. You want to open the lid? Yeah. Okay, we're going to open the lid. So I can look at it. What do you say to God Daddy Sav? Thank God. Thank you, God Daddy Sav. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. You see this guy? There's a spider web right there. Oh, that might be their webs. And I think that's food. Be very careful here. Let's pop the lid back on um, so they that they don't again. escape. Yeah, that's right. So they don't escape. Your caterpillars have arrived. The miracle of metamorphosis is about to begin. Butterfly nectar recipe. So it gives you a recipe here, guys. So I think we have to keep feeding them. Well, it's like a little pet that we can grow into butterflies and then we can release them into the wild. What do you think? No, I don't want to. <laughs> You don't want to release them into the wild so they can have a nice life? I do, but <laughs> I kind of don't want them to. Oh, right. What was in there? Butterfly nectar recipe. So combine 15 ml of sugar with 250 ml of water. Stir until sugar is completely dissolved. Refrigerate uh, any leftover nectar. So this is pretty cool. Be social, butterfly. Come and get some. Share your original food, butterfly food. garden stories and photos. Come so they've got get, all the uh, social get some media stuff. Food for me. Well, I think at the minute, I mean, look at that. That is cool. Can you see that? Can we give my my caterpillars some food? Yeah. Show me. Caterpillar. Yeah. Okay, so giant butterfly garden. Here we go. We're going to open this bit now. Watch them grow, then let them out. Oh, watch them grow and let them go. So that's pretty that, cool. I think there's a basket. I think you might be right. So we're going to have to do a little bit of reading and learn how to uh, look after these, aren't we? Yeah, we want to look after these. Butterflies don't live in the wild, so I think we should release the butterflies into the wild. That's right, yeah. Do we want... Is there a bit of solid tape on that side? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know. Right. So pull that out. Wow, butterfly garden. Okay. And I think we got to give our butterfly some medicine as well. Some medicine? And I think this is a oh, look, look, there's a little bit of... I was about to say, a little bit of Velcro here and it should just pop out. Break that Velcro there. Pull that bit of Velcro apart. And then that'll make a handle. So I think we might have to hang this somewhere. So this is the instruction guide. So William, we're going to have to read through the instruction guide. Yeah. I don't need no, instructions. No, I'll read through it and we'll learn how to look after your um, Daddy. your caterpillars and find somewhere to hang this. Do you want me to hang this in your bedroom? Yeah, um, if there's any 
and it's the next let's put some things in it and then they all go into butterflies. <laughs> yeah. Big. It also comes with these. It says here bonus life cycle figures included. But a 45 centimetre tall habitat. So they're like little toys I think with them. I don't <laughs> like balls. Show me that. So this is maybe the sort of butterfly that it's going to grow into, William. Yeah, cool. let's, let's put it in there. You want to put him in? Okay, go on then. So we're... And this looks like, is it a chrysalis? I think we all need to put it in. I, I saw this, I saw a chrysalis in the garden yesterday. Did you? That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> we're about to put the real ones in a bit. Thank you. That's like a caterpillar. That's like the caterpillars that we've got in the tubs. I mean, I can't, I can't believe this. This is so cool. We've got real live caterpillars. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Can we watch it? Can we watch it in this? And way? this. I'm not sure what that is, guys, but we Can will we? Uh, research. Are you putting this one in? Hmm? I think I need those ones going Okay, there. that's fine. That's cool. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go through, we're going to set this up and we're going to check back in with you later. Sound good? Let's do it right now. We'll do it right now. Right, stay tuned. Okay, so we've decided to put the caterpillars in your room, haven't we, William? These are living things, aren't they? Yeah. And if you ever get living things, like pets and stuff like that, you should always look after them, shouldn't you? Cats, dogs, bunnies. So these aren't quite as cute as bunnies. Um, they're caterpillars, but they are living and we really need to take care of them, don't we? And living things like this, and pets bring love and uh, caringness into the world, don't they? <laughs> um, so we decided we're going to put them in your room up here, will you? Yeah. yeah. So that's a good idea. Yeah, good idea. So guys, what we're going to do is hang his basket uh, up above his wardrobes and you won't hit them like that when they're in there, will you, the butterflies? You need to look after it and be gentle with butterflies. They're very, very gentle animals. Or insects, sorry. But it's not even real. That, that one's not real, I know. So I've bought this bamboo yeah. stick and I'm going to put that across William's wardrobe. Um, like so, and hang but, but the toy, it through. But the toy butterfly might turn it's into a real butterfly. <laughs> Those caterpillars are going to turn into real ones, like this. So you see that across your wardrobe, does that look good? Okay, William, so I'm going to put this across your wardrobes. It will sit across here. Yeah. Like. So get it right. There we go. And that'll make somewhere where we can hang this. There we go. Can you feel close No, I'm just. You're looking at the, the picture. Okay, so your caterpillars have arrived. Yay, they've arrived. Always handle your cup of caterpillars gently and be sure to keep the caterpillars sealed in their cup. So, let's have a look at them. Will the caterpillars turn into... That one's on its roof right there. Will the caterpillars... Will the caterpillars turn... Will the caterpillars turn into... Butterflies? Well, I'm going to read it to you now and we'll... We hopefully should get them into butterflies. Okay, um, it says your caterpillars are hardy, but try not to disturb them too much by tapping or shaking the cup. This will be their cozy home for seven to 14 days. So you have to keep it upright indoors and away from di direct sunlight or drafts. So that's why we've chose that area up there. Do you want to hold them? Oh, my little, my little, my little. I want okay. the, the cap in the back. It says they don't need excess moisture to form inside because oh, oh. uh, that could make them sick or die and we don't want that do we William? No. Um, it's important to leave the lid on the cup at all times um, and don't add anything into it okay? Why? Because that, they've got enough food in there to last them to grow. Alright? Can you show them where the food is? The bottom. Yeah, at the bottom there. So this is their food. Where are you going? Can I take them under the bed? No, then? I don't think that's the best idea. I think they want to know. So it says the they bed. need to be at around about yeah, a constant temperature. To, 24 degrees C. They're saying to you 
they want to be under my bed. Um, They're saying that to you. Are they? Yeah. See this webbing here, ah, William? Web. I'm afraid of It says webbing is a good sign. It's common to see webbing in your cup when you first receive it. Um, and your caterpillars will continue to spin webbing uh, as they grow. The webbing protects the caterpillars from many dangers. Why? Um, they use it to stick to their host plant and, as the wind can blow them off. So they, they make webbing and stick to the plant. A bit like spiders really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So they don't want to blow away. Um, so, so is that why they stick to their oh, webbing? That's so cool. Caterpillars also use this silk. Look at this one, see it? What's the silk? What's the silk? Look, this silk, the webbing is called silk. They use it to pull leaves around them to hide themselves from uh, predators. What what might eat a caterpillar? Tell me. What 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 lives in the trees and flies? Tweets. Tweets. And why does it eat caterpillars? <laughs> no, it's a bird, isn't it? Yeah. A bird might eat caterpillars. Oh, that, that one is literally dangling from its yeah. web. Yeah. It'll turn into a bullfly and then it'll fight okay. one the day. Also guys, oh it's just dropped off. It has got air holes. Can you see these air holes William? What why has it got air holes? So that they can uh, breathe. Uh, see? So it's in the flower there, they've got air holes, so they'll be able to breathe through there. Williams, are you hiding from predators, William? <laughs> yeah. I'm in my bed right now. In your bed? Anyway, right, so it says the caterpillar breathes through holes in its side called spiracles. And I get scared. These are located on and both then sides I, of each when segment. I have bad dreams, I go under my bed. Oh. So I don't get scared. Okay. I wriggle under. Wriggle under like this. So. I wriggle under like this when <laughs> I get scared from bad dreams. Okay. okay, let's not talk about bad dreams, let's talk about caterpillars. Your caterpillars will eat spin, uh, will eat spin silk and grow from approximately seven to ten days before mm. changing into chrysalides. Chrysal chrysalides, it says there. What's chrysalis. Chrysalides. Um, that's like this one. Mm. But this might turn into a real one. <laughs> okay. <coughs> At the back, the heads at the back. It says here, during this uh, incredible period of growth, they will shed their exoskeletons four times. These have got exoskeletons. Do you know what one of them is, William? Yeah. What is it? An exoskeleton. Um, while humans have stacked skeletons inside their bodies, is your skeleton inside? So you've got arm bones and a head bone, haven't you? And it's your skull stuff like that. Well it said, with your tissue, like your skin, is on the outside. Why do I have a well, tissue? Cat caterpillars are exactly the opposite to that. So their tissue is on the inside of their bodies and they have a skeleton on the outside of the bodies covering it. Why? Because that's called an exoskeleton. Exoskeleton, then, yeah. Then why, then why is their skeletons on the outside? To protect them. So it says then, uh, whilst they grow, the exoskeleton, I can't even say this, exoskeleton, said it too many times, the exoskeleton gets too tight, so they have to shed it. Why? Uh, so they can grow bigger. Why do they so have to So they're going to molt bigger? five times before they become a, uh, a butterfly. Then how big is that? Look how big is that. How big is that one? Yeah. That's it's really big. It says that. So when they when they molt their exoskeleton, can I, can I take them outside? No, they live inside for now. Uh, so uh, as they grow, you might see little balls of black on the bottom of their container, and that's that's when they've um, shedded their exos exoskeleton. No. Okay, so that that's as far as we're going to go for today, I think. Um, so we're going to put them back up onto your thing. Do you want to put them up onto your onto your drawers to live? Yeah, and we'll check in on them. Yeah, they are cool. Why will we check up on them? Can't open it. It's not on the roof, is there? Don't let them out! No, 
you're not letting them out, we're just having a look. They don't smell very good. Is that on the outside? <laughs> Alright, so there they are. Pretty cool. Looks like some might have already molted already. There's a little bit of black ball there. See? So they might have molted already, these guys. Why? It's very bigger. They might have been small. Right. You can see the little holes as well. We'll see where they've been eating their food. Yeah, I think they have been eating their food. Yeah. I think they've been eating their food. Okay. Once, once they've been on one of those, one of those little chunks, yeah, I think we should down there really give fast. them some more little bits of chunks. Okay. Right. So they've had a really tiresome journey, haven't they? They come in the post. I can't believe they've just come in the post. The postman literally knocked on the door and delivered them. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to let them rest for today William? Yeah. Have a little sleep? I, 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 I want to go to bed. <laughs> you want to go to bed with them? Mm. Right, are you going to help me put them on your jaws or should I, I do it? I want to go to sleep with them. You want to sleep with your caterpillars? Yeah. <laughs> so right, okay. We... So we're going to pop them there so can we and we'll follow their progress and so check back we... in soon. So can we turn it into bedtime? Can we turn it into bedtime? I will see you later, I will win. <laughs> right, William, so six days, five days, sorry, five days since we uh, received your caterpillars. <gasps> oh my goodness, they're so big now. <laughs> they've got so big. So, yeah, guys, it's six days, five days. Five days, maybe, since we received them. You've got your shark? Bed. Your bed's been growing? <laughs> well, I think the bed's been growing. Yeah, so they've grown really big. I'm going to yeah, pick them up. This one's moving really, around quite really, good. It's really, growing really big. Look, it's growing really, so really, see that. really big. Look at him wiggling around. Can you, can you? <laughs> yeah, you've got a big bed. You want to see? Yeah. Yeah, that's your wallpaper, isn't it? Yeah, and do the bed. Bed? Right. So, William wanted to show you his bed. But here we go. So, yeah, look at these guys. These are growing so big. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Wow, William. This one's wriggling around. And okay, can you show them? I'm going to put them back a bit. Well, come and stand with me. Can you show oh, you think you, William made a maze out of books? Yeah, and I think oh, there's something in there. Where is it? Tom, uh, alien invasion. <laughs> invasion, yeah. We love monster trucks, right? Let me flip this around. Okay, so, um, what you put me off now, William? What's I saying? Oh, we set the camera up the other day. They were a little bit smaller than this, and you can now see three hours of a life in a caterpillar, and I've condensed it into one minute. It's called time lapse. So we're going to put that on screen now and we're going to watch the caterpillar move around really quickly for three hours. Look at you. Are you ready to watch a caterpillar move around for three hours? But in, only in one minute though. So it's really fast. But you can see what the caterpillar did in three hours. How cool is that? And why are they going to just move around so fast? Because that's called time lapse. So right now, time lapse.
we're back. Yeah, okay, so that was pretty cool to watch, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to teach you about the life cycle of a butterfly. Alright, so a butterfly. Fly on my Yeah, this one, it comes flying along and it lays an egg. Mm. Alright, do you want to take the butterfly? I think that. And the egg looks like this. Okay, so it lays the egg on the tree. Um, I think those ones are going to turn into this butterfly. Well, yeah, that's what happens. Come and stand next to me so they can see. All, all of the butterflies turn. Yeah, so the butterfly lays the egg onto the tree and then out of the egg, this egg, comes a caterpillar, yeah? That looks like these. Can you see the caterpillar with it? Yeah, maybe on a tree like that one out there. Is that what you're looking at? And then the caterpillar comes out of the tree, uh, out of the egg, and it moves round and it eats all the leaves and stuff. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, and it gets big, but like your caterpillars. But your caterpillars have got their food in the bottom, haven't they? So they can transform into this yeah. butterfly. Yeah. So to transform into that butterfly, they become one of these, which is a chrysalis. Okay. Right, and it hangs upside down, this way I think, and then it will wiggle and wiggle <laughs> and then out of it, so a caterpillar went in, bring me the butterfly, a caterpillar, went, a caterpillar went into the chrysalis and out emerges a butterfly, yeah, um, and the butterfly will fly off and it will find another place to lay another egg, and that's the life cycle of a butterfly or a caterpillar. Well, that one's just a toy egg, isn't it? But there would be a baby caterpillar in that egg. Just yeah, in that in that pretend egg, and it would, it would come out. And then the cycle repeats itself, and that's called a life cycle. So I'm going to put a image of that life cycle on the screen. Yeah, so that was the life cycle of a of a butterfly. So William's butterflies are gonna do that. So your caterpillars, when they're ready, William, yeah, they're gonna make a J shape on the top of the cup. Okay? Bye. Yeah, they'll make a J shape and that means they're gonna turn into a chrysalis. Where's it gone? Yeah, and when they do that it will turn into a chrysalis. Alright, does that sound good? And what we're going to try and do, me and you, is... Do you want to see this? When we notice... Do you want to see, see this? See the egg? Whoa, you're popping that egg. Ready? Pop! Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! It's gone! It's gone under there! Yeah, it's okay, we'll get it in a minute. Daddy will fetch it. Oh. So come and talk to me. Oh no! Come and talk to me. I tried to get we'll, we'll out, we'll get I So when your caterpillars make a J shape on top of their roof, and they're hanging like a J, that means they're going to start turning into their chrysalis. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a camera to time lapse that, and hopefully, guys, we'll be able to see it form into the chrysalis. And then we're going to keep an eye out again and try and capture them when they turn into butterflies, when they emerge from their chrysalis. Does that sound good? And then after three days, we're going to release, release them into the wild so that hopefully they can go and make more eggs and make more caterpillars, and there'll be more butterflies in the world. Painted lady butterflies. Yeah, what do you think to that? This is lady butterflies. Painted lady, it's called. Yeah, they're pretty cool, aren't they? This is an lady. All right, so that's our check-in today. Do you want to just show them the caterpillars one more time? Shall we have a look? Yeah. There they are. Why will they turn into? And these ones in here. Look. Is this chrysalis? Chrysalis, yeah. Is that really chrysalis? Yeah. Okay, we're going to check back in in a few days, aren't we, William? Can I put these on the top? Yeah, if you'd like. Just gently. There we go. I'm going to keep them on top. Right, this butterfly's going to come in and we're going to check back in in a few days, aren't we? Yeah, ready? William, do you want to tell us what's happening? Yeah. Go on then. Uh, 
turn into a J shape. Yeah, your caterpillars turn into a J shape, aren't they? Yeah, but only one's not ready. There's a couple not ready. Shall we have a look? Yeah. Yeah. Which other? Okay, guys. So the caterpillars are turning to J shapes, which means they're going to be ready to uh, pupate. I think is the word into a chrysalis. Um, yeah. So three of them have done it. There's two in here that are doing it. Three one there and one have there. Yeah. Yeah. Three have done it. Yeah. Three of them. Three of them. Caterpillars have done it. Yeah. So three of them have done it, which means there's seven more to go, and there's a few on the top. So hopefully they're going to start to turning to a chrysalis okay. soon. That's cool, isn't it? We went for. We saw one doing it, didn't we? And then by the time you'd come out the bath, because uh, you were getting ready for bed, three, three caterpillars had started to do it. So is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Shall we have a look at the cute no. baby? Look. Which yeah. Hello. Hey, yeah. Ah. Uh, is that a caterpillar baby? Yeah, well, caterpillars are baby butterflies, aren't they? Yeah. So where's your chrysalis? So now they're going to turn into this. And then and they should that, come out as a butterfly. Once they are that, they say they should come out like this. That's right, yeah. <laughs> cool. So you're going to go to bed and you might wake up in the morning and there'll be a chrysalis. How cool, man. Very exciting. We have one last look and then we'll tune back in with you guys. You want a story? Okay, let's have a story. Say goodnight. Goodnight, Mr. Carpenters. I say goodnight to my Carpenters. Goodnight, Carpenters. Goodnight, Mr. Carpenters. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so, William, your caterpillar's jade, didn't they? Yeah. And if you look, I can't really move these now, guys. Let me just put Lucas down. Did you say? I'll put him on the bed actually. Spooky stew! There he is. Mm. Can you show them right, the you wallpaper again? Your wallpaper again? You really do love your wallpaper, don't you? Mm -hmm. Hello, Lukey. Hello, little Bookie. <laughs> say hello, little Bookie. Hello, little Bookie, Lukey, Lou. Yeah, Lukey, Lukey, Right, William, so your caterpillars, <laughs> um, the last one's made a J yeah. shape, and they've all crystallised. Mm -hmm. Chrysalis just pupated. Chrysalis, yeah. I can't really get in, I don't want to disturb them too much, but you can see the last one is there, it's turned into a J shape, and the others. Daddy, I think a cabin is fine. And they're like a golden green colour. They are a golden green colour, aren't they? They're like green with little golden like spikes on. So yeah. in, inside there, there's a big transformation going on, and they're turning into butterflies. Right. Unfortunately, one has dropped down onto the floor. One of the um, chrysalis has dropped down onto the floor. You can't really see it, but in there. Hey. I throw sharky at you. Don't throw sharky at me. Ah. I'm getting attacked by a shark. Ah. A shark attack. <laughs> yeah, one's fallen down. Um, and hopefully yeah. we might be able to save it when we let the rest out but I don't think that one's gonna have worked so but that's life isn't it William what? some what? things don't always work out Aye. and we think that one might not make it it might not make it into a butterfly nine nine out of ten is not bad yeah. so yeah that's pretty cool we're gonna check back in when we put them into Williams butterfly garden into the net that's where they're going to live and live in there aren't they then how can we release them to the wild we'll release them to the wild three days after that why not so that they can go and lay more eggs and then they become more butterflies why just because butterflies are pretty aren't they and they make what? the world beautiful do they make butterfly decorations <laughs> butterfly decorations yeah. Because I was wondering if they do. <laughs> yeah, okay, so yeah, we're going to put them in there. Um, 
show you how it goes and hopefully get a shot of them emerging, a butterfly emerging and drying its wings. That would sound cool. And then we've got to somehow try and feed them. Got to feed your butterfly? I think I'm going to feed them. You're going to try and feed them. We have to be very gentle. Uh, when they turn into butterflies mm -hmm. and flap around, yeah. they'll flap all over you, won't they, Daddy? <laughs> they might do. It'd be cool if one landed on you, wouldn't it? Yeah, why they landed on my hair? <laughs> I don't know. That'd be alright, wouldn't it? Would it yeah, be alright? I think if they paid decorations on my hair, it'd be tight. Yeah, that'd be funny. Okay, right. Push your hand right over this camera. Come on. I'm ready. In the next clip, you can see one of our caterpillars chrysalizing. Don't get shy. Be nice. I'm not get shy. You're not getting shy. I just love. I just love Toby Tors and that. You love the Toby Tors and that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, today, William, your uh, caterpillars, they formed into their chrysalises or chrysalides. And it's the day we have to move them. Yeah. yeah? So we're going to move them into their habitat today. Well, that's that net. This is their habitat. Oh, can I touch their habitat? You can come and have a look at the habitat, yeah? No, I touch it. Well, that. touch it. You can touch it. Oh, I'm sorry. it's okay. So, yeah, this is like net, isn't it? Yeah. And your butterflies are going to hatch in there and they're going to live in there for about three days. I'm looking in there. I'm looking in there. Well, about three days, and then when it's good weather outside, we can um, release them to the wild. That's right. So we're going to do that now, guys. Um, so the caterpillars in here, they've all turned into their chrysalis form. They've all turned into their chrysalis. Yeah, and we're going to take the lids off and put them onto the chrysalis station. Um, one fell down. We're going to try and rescue him. And we're going to use a spoon to get him out and we contacted Insect Law and they said that we could just put him on the floor of the net. So we're going to put him on the floor of his net enclosure on a piece of... Pookie? Pookie <laughs> On a piece of uh, pookie kitchen pookie. towel. On a piece of Pookie Wookie? So we're going to do that now William, alright? Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're going to open the first lid. Are you watching, Will? So this is the webbing and there is some frass and you have to move it away very gently, like it says, with a cotton bud. And frass, William, is caterpillar poo. Because if you don't do this, guys, it their wings will, when they're hatching, their wings will get caught up in the frass. Probably better. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Can I put it right there? Let me think about this. How can we get them off, Daddy? How can we get them off, Daddy? They're all falling right off. See that? That's a defense mechanism. If they think they're going to get eaten, they start to shake around. So that, and that's tried to scare predators off. Right, well, okay. Might have to go in. Like. Okay, William, can you see this one shaking around? Can predators 
Come and have a look. Can predators climb up trees? Can predators climb and up trees? Let's stop. So it's stopped now guys. Okay, so they're there. I'm just going to try and take a bit more frass away from here. You can see how they've shed their skin off. I'm holding on now. Yeah. What's, what's cabin poo? Called frass. So they've been eating all their food. And then they poo yeah. it out. And then they poo it out. So you see all this in here? Yeah, all that. They've ate most of their food, and most of that is now actually caterpillar poop. Ooh. <laughs> Do you so want there they are, you, yeah. hanging on. Hi, so I'm going to put these ones down into your basket now, William. Can you hold this bit open for me? Yeah. Right, I have to be very gentle, okay? Yeah, very gentle. Yeah. So, coming in. Okay, they pop them ones there. Right, we need to get the others out first. Yeah, but, but we need to trap those ones so they don't get out. They're in there. Yeah, you need to trap them in, don't you? But they're not going to hatch just yet, so we'll be alright until we get the other ones in. But William is right. Um, we would need to shut the zip up so that the butterflies don't escape and they're just Careful. flying around his room. Right. <laughs> Lucas, you come? Come to see the butterfly? Right, okay, so I'm going to take these ones out now. And this is the one where one has dropped down into the bottom and we're going to try and rescue him. Alright, rescue mission. That's a defence mechanism. It thinks oh, it's got me. Oh, I better shake, and hopefully the bird will think, oh, it's alive, and or whatever's trying to eat it will fly away. All right. So there's them ones. I was trying to get it so they'd all hang down, but they're gonna have to touch. There, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Well, then we come and hold this bit for me, please. Yeah. So just hold this bit open gently. Try not to move. This one fell into the bottom, see it? And huh? the other day, you have uh, to be we thought it hadn't formed very well, but it was shaking around, wasn't it? You have to be careful. Yeah, so poo. we contacted Insect Law and be they told us, the yeah, we're going to try and get as little poo as possible. We contacted Insect Law and they said that we could take it out and put it onto the um, piece of kitchen paper. No you. Right, well, this one is formed a little bit smaller than the rest. 
that's just twitching around. So it might not work, but we're going to do the best we can to try and save it. Oh, uh, can you see him twitching around? I saw him twitch. Why is he twitching? Why are you twitching? Is it on one in the egg? What's a cap in the egg? Where's a cap in the egg? Don't know where the egg's gone, mate. William's on about his egg toy. It went down downstairs. You're downstairs, Daddy. It's downstairs. Yeah, but I'm not getting it. I'm just wondering. Right. Yeah, this so uh, this one looks a bit different to the rest. So we're not going to give up on it. Do you want to have a look at this, William? Up close. Want to come and have a look? So there it is. And we're not sure this one's formed properly, are we? I'm going to put him onto that bit of paper, right down there, um, just careful with your head. I can see a gold bit as well. There is a gold bit on it, yeah, that's right. I don't know if you can see this, guys, but William's saying there's spikes in that form of little gold um, gold shading on it. They really are quite cool. Okay, right, I'm going to try and pop him in. Somebody's going home. Okay. I'm going to put this sponge in. This is what we use. Stop filming the baby. I'm going to put this sponge in. This is what we use to feed them, William. And there's a little pipette it comes with, and we can make nectar up. So when they start to hatch out of there, we're going to put water onto here. And Daddy can open it up and just drop bits of uh, the nectar water onto it. Um, so I'm going to put that in now so that I don't have to disturb them too much when it's up where we're going to keep it above your drawers, okay? So we'll put that in. Oh, you're going to be loose. Alright, zip it up. No, guys. So zip it up. So there they are in their habitat, in their new habitat, William. Behind us, look there. What do you think? Shall we try and set a camera up and see if we can capture the butterflies emerging? You think so? You think so? I think so. Okay, so we're going to try and set a camera up and see if we can capture the butterflies emerging um, from their habitat, uh, from their chrysalis. Sorry, into their habitat. Let's go, blue, blue, blue. What sound does a butterfly make? What sound does a butterfly make? <laughs> I don't know either. Flutter, flutter, flutter. So William, your chrysalises, or chrysalides, have turned, well, a couple of them have turned really black. So do you know what that means? It means soon that the butterflies are going to emerge. So, do you want a quick look? Wow. So guys in here, it's cool. this chrysalis here, I don't know if I can get a decent shot on that. That one there is uh, really black. So he's got and the one on the bottom has turned really dark. So he's turned into a real bird. He's turned into a real bird. <laughs> so yeah, they've all turned a bit dark, especially this one here. I think that's going to be the first one to emerge. So we've set the camera up, that's what the big light is up there looking on them and hopefully we're going to get a shot of the butterflies emerging. Yeah, we're going to keep checking on them aren't we William? Yeah, all the time. All the time, yeah, to see if we can see one of the butterflies emerge with our very own eyes.
What's happening, guys? What's happening? What? I don't. Love you. Love you. What's What's happening in there? Tell me. Tell me. Oh, there's butterflies. Your butterflies are starting to emerge. Okay, guys. Big development. Has one of them done it? Two. The butterflies have emerged. Two butterflies have emerged. <laughs> right there. Oh, wow. And everywhere in my room. One down in the on the second lid. Is Don't worry about the red spot on the bottom. That's the meconium. Meconium. Oh wow! Look at this. I'm trying to get. You're gonna have a look. Look at him, William. This one's crawling up to the top. Oh, this thing. Ah. Look at that one crawling up to the top, William. Are you excited? No. Oh, we, might see, we might see it flutter its wings. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Do you want picking up? You want to see the butterflies too, Lucas? Are you filming? Yeah. Oh wow. So its wings are a little bit bent, but it says that and it says that they'll come up. It's bedtime. Okay. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, I know Lucas. How cool is that? Yeah, amazing. What do you think to them butterflies? Is it cool that they've emerged? Yeah, so we're going to keep them for a few days and then go and release them in the wild. Is that cool? You've had butterflies grow in your from caterpillars to butterflies in your room. Yeah, then why will they fly around me? They won't, we're not let them out in your room, are we? But when we let them out, they might go on you in the garden. Why? All right. So two out of ten have hatched, William. Mm. All right. So what we do is when some others come out, we'll we'll go and have a look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll come back in as well. Wow. <laughs> we'll come back in and hopefully all of them will have hatched. Get off me with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, check back in too. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see this, but oh, I'll try and put it closer. This one here, they, when they emerge their tongue is fused together. And they actually have two tongues um, and they split the tongue. That's two bits. Well, this one's curling its tongue down, and I think it's just opened its wings. So if you see the one at the back, its wings are still stuck together. Well, this one here, it's just pushed its wings apart. I'll try and get it in as close as I can without disturbing them too much. See if you can see its tongue moving. Let's see. Let's see if I can get you in. Let's have a look. Yeah, see that guys, you can see it's tongue, they've got like curly tongues. Excuse my shaky hand. Just get it in. And yeah, it's tongue. It's moving up and down, that's cool. So that's really cool. Hopefully in a few hours we should have some more, or these might be flying around. Hey guys, so this one's starting to open his wings up. I don't know. You want to see? Yeah, I can't see. Let me to help see. you up then, hold on to me. Oh, stop now. Stop. Just flapped its wings.
<laughs> no, it's not going to fly around your bedroom, it's going to fly around in the net. <laughs> will it get dizzy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, William thought that the butterflies going to fly around his bedroom, but they're actually just going to fly around in the net, too. Alright. Stop now. <laughs> These butterflies are going to need feeding, William. Mm. So, shall we go and make the nectar up for them? Yeah, I mean, you can do that. We've got a recipe, haven't we? Alright. A recipe, yeah, to make nectar, sugar, and water. Let's go. Okay, right, so William, your butterflies have emerged and it's time to feed them. It might be a bit early, but it's your bedtime, so we're going to have to put it in anyway. Daddy's going to do it really carefully. So it says. Then why do we need an orange? Feed and observe your butterflies. So. It says, one or two hours after emergence, your butterflies will be fully formed and ready to fly. You may feed your butterflies nectar, sugar water, fruit or nectar bearing flowers. Why do we So we're going to give them some orange. Why do we what colour is that orange? Uh. What colour is an orange? Orange? Orange, yeah. Good boy, that was a bit of a test. Well, that doesn't go in there. Whoops. Right, we just water. So we're going to cut that up in a minute. It says nectar, so it wants us to make some nectar. It says mix one teaspoon, five mil, of sugar into a hundred mil cup of water and stir. Now tonight I've got orange back. Let me get a hundred mil of water. So William, there's now a hundred mil of water in here. And I've got this. Oh, we do need a knife. So, we've got these special spoons that tells us which one is a teaspoon. So, this is half a teaspoon, and that's one teaspoon. So, we're going to get a teaspoon of sugar. Do you want to dip it in? Yeah. What do we have to do? And tip it into that water. So, dip it in like this. Yeah, can you do that? Tip it in there. Right. So that's that. Is that funny? Yeah, is that funny? Do you want to stir it? Yeah. There you go. Give stir, it a good stir. 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 That's it, Ali. Stir that up. Why do you want Well, they're good for measuring them spoons, aren't they? So if you're cooking or baking or you want to measure stuff out, you can use them spoons. So, can we stir it some more? No. No? I'll do, I'll do the rest, okay. I can use two. Okay. Right. Okay, so guys, if you're going to use knives, it should be parents that use knives, isn't it? Adults use knives, alright? So, I'm going to cut this Don't in half. Cut your orange! Yeah, so, I'm cutting the orange in half. So if you want to use a knife, you get your parents' permission, don't you, William? You have to be safe, don't we? Mm -hmm. I love you. Me too, mate. Hmm. <laughs> How come I put them into there? Right. So then it says you need to score the fruit. So I'm going to score it like this. Okay. Why do you have to score? Because that means all the fruit nectar will be coming out. And the fruit juice for the butterflies to eat. All right. So we're going to put two bits in, and we put the rest into the fridge. It says to keep the rest in the fridge, refrigerated, um, and... No, um, I have their own fridge. Yeah, well, we're going to take them upstairs and put them into your butterfly enclosure. So I'm going to put this in the Do fridge. Do we also have to be in Yeah, that? we're going to use a pipette to put them bits on. I'm going to do it today, because yeah. they're still emerged, but you might be able to do it tomorrow, all right? Why? So I'm going to put these in there. Let's get a bowl. And for now, this one will do. Do you want to carry the bowl upstairs? Yeah. And then you carry the water, yeah? Alright? Right, let's go put it in. Oh, careful, you okay? They nearly fell up, but they stayed in. <laughs> Did they stay in? Okay. 
Okay, right. So we have to be very careful, all right? Yeah. Got it. Sit up. So William, we're going to put your butterfly um, orange into the enclosure. There's this little pipette and what this pipette does is it sucks up water and then squirts it out, see? And then I've put a sponge in there and I'm going to put some onto the sponge, right? And what? And why do we need oranges? Because they're going to eat the orange with their tongues. Earlier guys I said that the caterpillars had two tongues and they split. I actually had that wrong, the two tongues fused together to make a feeding tube. So they curl them out and dry them off and you can have a little taste if you like. <laughs> All right. I didn't, okay. I didn't like the butterfly, didn't I? You didn't like the butterfly with your tongue? Yeah. The other one's moved to the top. There's the sponge there that I'm going to put. Sugar water onto that one there is really dark. That one's coming out. That might be out by the morning, I think, William. Okay, so this one we took it down, guys, because I couldn't get my arm in very well. Uh, so we took it down to put the um, sugar water onto the sponge. But this butterfly uh, got a bit disturbed, and it. Uh, crawled out and is now on top right on the roof where I'm meant to put my arm in so uh, I think I'm just going to leave the fruit in there for now so if they want the fruit they, they can drink. they can eat off the fruit all right William they can um, we'll try and give it some sugar water tomorrow yeah, yeah. Again. Yeah, we can give it some more orange tomorrow. Yeah. I've got to somehow get past this and put the sugar water in. Even the pipette. Oh, I'll catch its wing up. Put it on the top. That's all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that one's having some is it eating? orange. Is it its tongue out? It just flew onto it when I disturbed it. I'm not sure. It's its tongue out. Well, it's on it anyway, which is, which is good. a good start, at least. It looks like that one at the bottom is about to... Yeah. Let's come and watch Daddy do this. She's <laughs> putting the sugar water on here, William. Well, I was going to swap one more leaf. Why did you want to swap? Well, the other one, the other caterpillar is now on your orange. He's eating it. Look at that. Like this. <laughs> See him in there? Why is he eating it? Because then you can get energy to go and live in the wild when we set him free in a couple of days. Just be careful. Can we, can we take him out of our hands? Maybe when we release him. See the colour on his wings. It's beautiful, isn't it? See his wings, William? He's opening them up for you. Yeah. Look at that. He's opening them up 
for me. Is everything in the mark? Careful. Stretching him out, drying him out. Why? Getting ready to fly. Whoopsie Daisy. Here you go. Mom, he's not walking. <laughs> Why is he walking? Look, he's walking. Look, he's walking. Yeah, I think he's going to go and find some sugar water now. Over there. I think he's going to go and find some sugar water now. Drink. Have your, have your orange. Have your orange. Which one? Which? Which is which? Orange juice? Can I drink now? Don't drink any of those orange juice. It's been out overnight. It's fine now. All right, okay. Harper stretching his wings. William, look at this one. This is amazing, mate. He's proper stretching his wings. Wow. Can you get them down? How? Down? Down? I think this one's going to open next. It looks fat. Like bigger, wider than the rest. Um, this one on the end here. And they use air. They use air. They suck air in and pop. Pop their chrysalis open. So cool. Hi. We've missed one there. So there was two butterflies last night. We've got three butterflies in there now. So it either emerged early this morning or now overnight. Now I can see some more of that. Yeah, see it? That one in there? And you have to say the name of the red spot. The, oh, the red uh, meconium. Yeah, there's some rust on the meconium. Oh, you said it. Good boy. High five on that big ah. word. High five on the big word. Give me a foot five then. Better. <laughs> yeah, William's saying there's some more meconium down at the bottom, which it, it says it looks like blood, but not to worry because it isn't. All right. So that's just part of the normal process. I know it's hard to see through this net, but. Okay, right, I'm gonna lift them up and we'll be checking back later. This one here, they shake their wind, wings to help dry them out. Look there. Can you deliver it? There he is, open it up. Oh, amazing. Yeah, did a little hop. I know, he's turned upside down. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, it's self right itself. Okay, guys, so that one just turned upside down. So it managed to get itself on, it's flapping its wings around. Something else to deliver it. You have to deliver it. I'm telling you how to deliver it. Okay. This oh, train. wow. Look, look. Where is it? Has it got onto it? Oh, wow. Daddy, we're going to go down the market. Right there. See all the colours in it? orange and white and black so beautiful perfect look at that one up there Will. I put it on the crawled all the way up there I, I put it on the tray Lucas <laughs> yeah <laughs> are we playing Lego <laughs> waiting for see if we can see one of them butterflies <laughs> come out yeah are you ready <laughs> Yay! Tickle, 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 tickle! Whoa! Tickle, 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 tickle! <laughs> You're so cute! You're so cute! <laughs> There's another one out, guys. I was trying to keep his eyes filled, but he missed it. It's gone onto this orange here. So we've got seven butterflies. Still got three to hatch. That one at the top there. This one, which was I thought was going to be one of the first ones to hatch. 
And obviously the little one on the floor, which we're not sure to get, this one's just flapping his wings. Okay guys, so all five of the caterpillars have hatched off of this side and I've just took it out, so they're all in there. Look. Two up the top. So I took these out, so I wanted to give you a closer look at these. So these were the chrysalides. You can see where they shed their skin. Um, yeah. Oh, I mean they're pretty cool. And the butterflies popped out of there. And they were just hanging on with their silk. Amazing. So we just checked in on the caterpillars. Uh, sorry, keep on caterpillars. That's because they were caterpillars for so several butterflies. Around. <laughs> they started to flap around a bit more. I've just put some new food in for them and uh, some new nectar. So yeah, all in there. They're flapping around a bit more now. Still trying to dry his wings out a little bit. Yeah, look at that. So they're trying to make an escape, so I'm gonna zip the top back up. William? William? Your butterflies are moving around a lot more now. Do you wanna come have a look? Come in. It's just your butterflies are moving around a lot quick, a lot more. So Wanted to watch telly? Yeah. <laughs> Here he is, look. Come on then, come and have a look. Look at these two, look. <laughs> They're moving around a bit more and these ones are all flapping down here. Yeah. Minute, look at that one beating its wings. Do they look like your painted lady? Yeah. yeah but they look not, like this? But they're not painted ladies. Are they painted men? Yeah. Painted men? <laughs> yeah. Well, they want some of them to be boys, don't you? Dad, I'm going to be painted men. Painted men? Okay. So guys, we're still waiting for two to hatch. Um, the other one's been knocked about a bit by the other caterpillars and there's just one left. Did one chrysalis left on there, yeah. But there was one caterpillar, William, that took ages to crystallise, wasn't there? He was still moving around uh, while the others were in the chrysalises and he actually knocked the other caterpillar off, uh, the other chrysalis off, didn't he? Yeah, and we 
saved him. We saved him, yeah. But I'm not sure if it's worked. So, fingers crossed, there's still a few days. William, nine of your butterflies have come. So nine out of 10. All right. Last one hatched today out of its chrysalis. This one up here, look, whoa, hello. Look, it's come down to see you. Look at it, really trying its wings out, man. Hello, it came down to see me. <laughs> and it really came down yeah, to see look. me. Hello, butterfly. <laughs> Why you came down to see me, Mr. Butterfly? Right, so I'm going to put it on the floor and change their orange. And um, put some more water. Are you going to put that Are you going to touch it? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. All right, that's enough. Whoop. I think it wanted to fly away from me. Yeah. I think it flies away from me because I'm touching it too much. There, you touch, did you touch it a little bit too much so it flew away? Yeah. Right, okay. Um, first things first, let's get this old orange out. I'm going to put my hand in with them and hopefully no escape. Oh look, that one's on it. I think it just... Right. Look, it's on... Not the, not the other one on there. <laughs> yeah, on the sponge. Why? Why, Daddy? Why are they? Why what? are they, Daddy? I think you disturb them. Did I disturb them? Right, so that's the old orange out. Let's put this fresh orange in for you. That chrysalis there didn't work, but you can still see some of the caterpillar it tried. It tried to hatch, I think, but it didn't work. Saving it. And you can still see some of the caterpillar. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just saying it. Um... <laughs> That's coming. Right. I'm trying to make a break for it. Right. <laughs> trying to escape. <laughs> Which one? This one here yeah, is trying to escape. Why? Yeah, some of these are ready to go. The thing is, one only hatched early this morning, so we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to let it go, because I don't think that one's going to be ready. But this one is. These ones in here, guys. Oh, yeah. one. It's all right. They're that, that one, that one's trying, there's one, that one is trying to, <laughs> Down thinks it's in the wild. It thinks it's in the wild? Yeah. So, we've got the abdomen of the butterfly. Let's tell they've got four legs. Yeah. And at the front, they've got sort of little horns. And they've got a black tongue that comes out. And then their eyes are on the side. Look, look that one's having a drink, Will. See, look, it's got its tube out. That one there is having a drink. Can you see his tube? Yeah. Look, he's out sucking on the sponge. That one, we've literally just put some nectar water in there, guys, and it started to have a drink, that one. So, I don't know if you can see on that shot when that other one moves out of the way. There, look, look. It's got its tongue out. Alright. Right, it's time to put them back up now, right? This is the dino snapper. <sighs> Guys, just a tip, if you do ever get one of these, put something down. Um, the meconium comes through the bottom of the uh, butterfly garden, goes onto the, could go onto the top, but luckily we put some uh, Paper towels down. So save the top, but that's cool. Right, tomorrow we release them. 
Okay guys, so it is release day for the butterflies. Um, we've had some four days, one opened, they're probably releasing them a bit early, but we can't tell which one's which and the others need to go. One only hatched out yesterday and we've got nine out of ten. Um, one of them didn't make it, so here they are. One last look at them in here. Oh, look at them, so beautiful. Oh, that's one up here. Yeah, so one last look in and I'm going to take him down now. Uh, William's waiting outside and we are going to release these guys into the wild. There you go. There's your first glimpse of sunshine. There you go, guys. It has been pretty rainy this past week, hasn't it, William? But today the sun has come out and it's a perfect time. Oh, that one's flying. Yeah, look. Wow. They can feel it, they can feel the breeze for the first time, William. And it's getting them excited. Whoa, see it? It is ready to go, isn't it? <laughs> These are so excited, guys. I'm excited for them. Okay, so we've got the trees here and I think they might like these flowers. So do you want to unzip it? And they might land on you, but it'll be okay. Look. Oh, he's ready to go. Are you ready? Stand back that way a little bit. There we go. Right, ready? Let him out. I'll hold it like this. Yeah! <laughs> Off it goes. That one's, that one's gone. That one's gone. That one went up to the wild itself. Did it? Yeah. Any more? Otherwise it's time for you to go, you might have to come out now. They're not going to come out. They will when they're ready, because in time. Here you go, one's coming up. Try and catch one on your hand. <laughs> Did you touch it? I was trying to get it in my hand. <laughs> you got to be gentle. Just put your hand at the top and while they fly out, they might come and get off. Yeah. Come on, Drink. You want to have a nice drink before you go? There you go. Oh, open it up. Open it up, Steve. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Off they go. Did you release it in the wild? Yeah, it just like straight off my finger. Come out, oh, man. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a more for me to sit. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh wow, look at that. I think I need to go. Oh, there he goes. I'll put it on the ground. It's okay. And then you can just uh, Now I want more food. Mummy, try and get one. Give it to me, Mummy. Give it to me. 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 Give it to me.
So, William, it's been really cool having these, hasn't it? Mm. In your bedroom. Yeah. But they deserve to be in the wild, don't they? That's mm. why we've let them go today. Because it's a beautiful animal like this deserves to be out free in the big wild world, doesn't it? Look how beautiful yeah. it is. Oh. See how it's got hair on it? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hairy, isn't it, on the back of its wings? And its so, that means it's really a boy. A boy? <laughs> okay. It has, it has to be a boy. He's really enjoying that juice, that orange. Oh, might be getting ready to go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to film. One <laughs> <laughs> of those got off there and then it magically fried off one of those. One of those got magic and then it fried off magic. So did you have fun? Yeah. That was really fun re raising them butterflies from caterpillars. They came in the post. Caterpillars came in the post, didn't they? Yeah. Do you want to quickly look at the one that didn't make it? Yeah. Alright, so we had one that didn't make it, guys. That's just the way of life. Um, not everything survived. So they're the ones, the chrysalises, they're like crispy now, but, but the other one's popped out. Why are they like crispy now? Because they're just the leftovers like out of shell. This is the one that didn't make it. Why are they like crispy now? Because they're just the leftovers like out of shell. This is the one that didn't make it. Why are they like crispy now? Because they're just the leftovers like out of shell. This is the one that didn't make it. You could just about see see the caterpillar in it. It's sort of like see the caterpillar shape. So nine out of ten, Will. Yeah. Do you want to get some more in the future? Yeah. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Whoops. <laughs> yeah, but we'll have to. All oh, right. But um, not a net might come. No, we we just ordered the caterpillars, not a net. So. Yeah, right, well thanks for watching our caterpillar into butterfly experience in our butterfly garden from Insect Law. Get one of these guys, it's awesome isn't it? We had really good fun doing this, didn't we? Yeah? Okay, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hit subscribe and you can watch more of our adventures and gardening and things that we get up to and of course our tour box specials where we open the best surprise toys. Alright Will? Tomorrow can we do the tour box? I don't know. Have you been good? Yeah. Well, we've got a mystery box coming. Keep your eyes peeled for the mystery box. Yeah? <laughs> bye! Say bye bye. No, it's got McKenna on it. <laughs> it's got McKenna on it. Right, bye guys! No, it's got McKenna on it. Yogi McKenna. Ready for five? Bye bye! <laughs> hey fans! Thanks for watching our video. We'd love it if you could head over to our channel and check out some more of our videos. You can see us unboxing the best toys in our tour box specials. And follow us on all our adventures to cool places, including theme parks. And we would love for you to join the Tovey Tour. What have they got to do, William? Please subscribe!